what's up? Today I want to share with you a classic traditional Greek dish, artichokes and peas. It's a vegan dish, one pot meal, very easy to make, only uses a handful of ingredients and we're going to get to it right now. First things first, let's fire up our pot and again, one pot meal, epic with me. Love, love, love it. This is really simple to make because if you don't need any real mad ninja knife skills, kitchen skills, you just put everything in one pot, saute for like five minutes, and simmer for ten. That's it. In this recipe, I'm using frozen artichoke hearts because I'm lazy. I don't want to like mess around and bullshit around cleaning artichokes and peeling them, and yada, yada, yada. Not my thing. Get frozen if you can. Avoid the canned artichokes. Sugar, salt, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna start off first doing about a third of a cup of oil is gonna go in to do our saute. This is what's classically known as a ladero or an oil-based dish. And there's that sizzle, baby. Perfect. That goes in just like that. Get our onion going. I'm also going to do a couple of cloves of garlic. Now, when it comes to peeling garlic, again, I've said it a few times, this butt end over here where the roots were, that's what we're going to lop off. So you're just going to slice that off. So in other words, now there's no roots there. And just going to press it a little bit on your cutting board with the palm of your hand and the skin will literally just fall off. Nothing to it. Very easy. So, I'm going to throw in my garlic in my press, get that out of the way. The heat we're going for, by the way, on your stove is going to be like a medium, medium high. You don't want to kind of incinerate the, the onion or especially the garlic. You don't want to burn garlic because it becomes like the shitty mess and that's not really a good thing. And you want the essence of the garlic, you don't want that burnt kind of flavor. So that goes in. Garlic and onion are sauteing. Next, a little bit of salt, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper will go in here. This point here, by the way, optional, a little sriracha, a little chili flakes, chili peppers. If you want to add up the heat a little bit, but if not, this is just fine the way it is. So, our onions are well on their way to being translucent, and that's exactly what we want. For this recipe here, I am using a pound of frozen artichoke hearts, and what I'm going to do is just half them. It makes things a lot easier and you don't have to kind of get these enormous bites. So, half your artichoke hearts. All right, perfect. My artichokes have been halved. I'm gonna give that a quick stir here. My onions and garlic are doing their thing. I'm gonna add my artichoke hearts in here with that one. Just like that. This meal I enjoyed the most in Greece. My mom used to make this dish as a kid growing up, but my best memory of this was my aunt, my father's sister in Greece, who can make this dish like nobody's business, believe me. So, my artichokes are in. Next thing, about a cup of crushed tomato in Greece. They grate the fresh tomato, and that's fantastic. If you have access to fresh tomatoes, grate about a cup of tomato, and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. You can't beat a freshly grated to tomato, almost a potato. Now, the next thing for this is the flavor profile. And for this, the flavor profile is dill. So you're going to take a small bunch of fresh dill, and you're going to just chop it up. Uh, any way you can. You don't need to go too heavy or too thin to whatever your skills are. Just 
do it. It's very easy. Next, for this, I'm using frozen pigeon peas. You can use any kind of peas you want, totally fine. Big, small, whatever. And for this, I'm using about 300 grams, give or take, 350. You could even go as high as 400 or a pound. So, my peas go in here, just like that. Now, one more time, I'm going to layer my seasoning. A little more kosher salt. A little more fresh cracked black pepper for this. And now, the water. Let me just juice that up a little bit. The water for this, I'm going to use just enough water, and I'm using the container by the way. I like using the containers of the crushed tomatoes because I also help clean out whatever is left in there. You just want to add enough water to cover your veggies. And in this case, it is literally probably about a cup, cup or so. And just let this go. Keep in mind that your frozen peas and artichokes are also going to release some of their moisture in this as well. So, here it is, all ready to go. I'm going to bring this up to a boil. I'm going to cover it, reduce the heat, and simmer this for maybe 10 minutes tops. And this is done. <music> So now that we're all about 10 minutes older, time to get the show on the road. My artichoke and peas are ready. It only took like seven or eight minutes. So now time to get the, the tasting happening. I'm just gonna put a little bit in my plate here just to try. Again, holy crap is this hot. So take a little bit of peas and artichoke. Now, this thing. Serve this with a nice chunk of feta uh, or any other briny cheese, some fresh bread, crusty bread, sop up all this goodness here on the plate, and you are golden. Let's see what these peas. Mm. Mm. Let me tell you, this is southwestern Greece circa 1985 in my aunt's house on a rainy day near Easter time when they're fasting they would eat something like this mm. Mm. so good again you can serve this as a vegan main or as a side meat, fish, poultry, whatever you got, we'll go with this. Absolutely. So that's it for this episode on how to make traditional Greek artichoke and peas. One pot meal, very easy, a few ingredients, perfect, on the go, ready in about 15 minutes, give or take. So that's it. So I thank you all for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope you like this. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this. You know what? I'm certainly no vegan, but I love this. Imagine what the real vegans would like do over this. They'd be doing like cartwheels or something. It's hilarious. And until next time, bye for now.